Hey folks, how are you doing? Welcome again. My name is Sanjeev Dillon from Procore Technologies. I'm super, super excited to host today for to be your host today for another live episode of How We Built Now video series here at Procore. If you can, please share this broadcast with your network so others can benefit as well. Today, I'm super excited to be talking live with the brilliant Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of Geotech, a very valued Procore partner, Dr. Ali Alizadeh. So let's bring our star guests into view and let's introduce them. Give me one moment here. There we go. Perfect. So uh, Dr. Ali Alizadeh is a co-founder and Chief Technology Officer of Geotech Scientific Inc, founded in 2010. Dr. Alizadeh has over 15 years of experience in the development and commercialization of technologies related to concrete materials. He brings unique expertise on the durability of concrete at the nano level particularly when it relates to infrastructure exposed to harsh environmental conditions. Ali will get more into Geotech, whose innovative products have been used at over 6,200 construction projects worldwide. They are the winner of many awards, including Globe and Mail's 2019 Top Growing Companies, McLean's Magazine's 2019 Fastest Growing Companies, and Toronto Construction Association's 2020 Best of Best Awards. Wow. So uh, Ali, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, we're very excited to have you on our show today. Thank you, Sanjay, for having me. Awesome. How are you are you Ottawa today? I trust. How are things there? Yeah, it's great. Uh, we're based in Ottawa. I'm right here in the capital city. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So I was thinking that uh, to kick it off, I thought a good place to start would be to find out more about Geotech as a business today, uh, so our audience can get some kind of context as we dive into your entrepreneurial journey and passion for concrete, which I'm very interested to hear about today. So if you could start, maybe give us a uh, give us some background context on what you were trying to what you set out to address, what you're trying to, uh, you know, uh, meet in the industry. Uh, you know, I hear things like breaking concrete cylinders to test the compressive strengths of, uh, as an example, and then maybe going to what Geotech does, your product lines, and then we'll get into the other parts of the conversation. So over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Zinji. Yeah, so at Geotech, our vision is to revolutionize the concrete industry. Uh, we particularly offer a wide range of uh, concrete testing technologies and solutions um, to um, address various challenges throughout the life cycle of concrete when it comes to performance of concrete and life cycle of uh, concrete. Uh, in particular, we have uh, wireless sensors, uh, lab devices, and portable uh, concrete testing tools uh, that can be used by concrete producers, um, general contractors, subcontractors, uh, testing labs, uh, and engineers uh, to assess uh, various properties of concrete, including curing, hardening, um, throughout the life cycle of concrete during construction and uh, after that while the concrete is in, uh, construction uh, concrete is in service. Uh, in particular, we, we over the past few years, we have focused on early stage construction. As you can see, we've developed wireless sensors. These are um, basically simple Bluetooth sensors that can be embedded in the concrete uh, to monitor um, things like temperature and strengths during construction. And this is very important information that super man, uh, superintendents and construction project managers are interested to know when it comes to optimizing their schedules. They, they want to know when concrete is hard enough before they can move to the next step, when it's, uh, whether it's uh, removing formwork or post-tensioning or building the next floor. And uh, traditionally, um, as you mentioned, they, uh, they take field cured cylinders and at some point the technician comes and picks it up goes to the lab, breaks those cylinders, and sends the results back to the field. Uh, but the whole process is delayed. Uh, it is not um, accurate as it doesn't capture the real conditions in the structure. And right. because of that, most of the time, half a day or a day is, uh, is uh, wasted through, throughout the process. And that's a lot of um, money for, uh, for these contractors. So what we've done with these sensors is we bring real-time information in the hands of uh, decision makers so they can make informed decisions and uh, optimize their schedules, uh, improve their efficiency and productivity, and at the end of the day, address uh, safety in their uh, their projects. It sure sounds like a time saver. I mean, uh, you know, if, if folks can get the exact time on curie, the curation of the concrete, they can move on to the next step sooner rather than later, right? So I see so much value here, and I'm sure a lot of your customers do. So, so is it just a, is it one line of products you have, or is it a few, or is it the one sensor? Yeah, so the, the line of products that Geotech, as I mentioned, covers a wide range of uh, tools and technologies from lab devices to corrosion detection tools and sensors. And sensors in particular, we have temperature sensor, strength sensor, humidity sensor, 
And uh, depending on the application, uh, contractors can use these during construction to monitor state of uh, curing and hardening in their structures. And uh, after that, uh, the other devices that we have, for example, for corrosion detection, engineers can use them to assess the state of infrastructure in bridges and parking garages, for example, to know right. when they can do repairs. That's awesome. Uh, now, in terms of like, is, how's the adoption been for this product? Uh, uh, like, uh, I know PCL, Acon, a lot of the big guys are your customers, but I, I assume like you, there's a mention of 6,200 cust projects worldwide. That's pretty phenomenal and looks like it's gaining traction. Yeah, so um, I think uh, the number uh, one or two uh, priority on the top two priorities that uh, project managers have uh, are productivity and safety. So our sensors uh, directly add us those uh, challenges uh, in any job site. So when we introduced the sensors uh, about four or five years ago, uh, it was a hit in the market. Uh, ease of use, uh, simple installation um, of the sensor on, on one hand and the data collection and analysis using a free mobile app that everyone can download and install on their smartphone on the other hand, made it so easy uh, for, for these uh, project management superintendents to start using these sensors and immediately they saw that they can get power in their hands and uh, basically uh, save that half a day or a day uh, was a compelling uh, factor for them to keep using these sensors and that's how we grew from uh, with past uh, five years from uh, introducing the sensors to about six to um, seven thousand projects that we are currently serving worldwide. Wow that's uh, quite the story I can't get uh, I'm looking forward to getting the details of that so um, and you're available all across the world, uh, but you also are pride in Canada. So uh, you know that's where the story started. But I wanted to go move on and uh, talk about where the dream started. You know, uh, this is your baby. Uh, where did you? Let's go back a little bit first. Let's talk about concrete, which is uh, uh, the number one uh, item for construction. But what did? Where did your passion for concrete come from? Why concrete? And why did this essential building product become your life's calling? Maybe you can walk us through your experience as to how you got there. Sure. Uh, yeah, so concrete is a fascinating material. You know, uh, from outside, it may look a uh, simple uh, mixture of ingredients like aggregate, water, uh, sand, and cement. Uh, but in reality, you know, it, uh, it goes through a lot of uh, chemical reactions and uh, during its life cycle, it's, it, is, it is exposed to a lot of uh, chemicals. So there's a, there's a lot going on inside the concrete and it's, uh, it makes it really um, an interesting material. So the passion goes back to when I was an undergrad student. Uh, at that point, um, uh, there was a competition organized by the American Concrete Institute called um, High Strengths Concrete. And we, so we okay. formed a student group, student team. Uh, we were excited about that. And uh, worked really hard to uh, put a recipe together that achieves the highest strengths possible. And uh, that year, we, we, uh, we attended the competition, we, were, we won the third place, and uh, that was the initiation for me to, to get more um, interested in the concrete uh, as a material and continue my uh, studies uh, when I went to master uh, program and after that in PhD, uh, get deeper and deeper into the concrete material, cement science, and, uh, and you know, stayed with me for, for the past uh, 20 years. I got a question for you. When you were younger, what did you actually want to be? <laughs> um, uh, my, my, my passion was to, uh, before, before becoming a concrete uh, uh, geek, uh, was, was to become a professor. So I wanted to become a professor and a teacher and teach uh, and educate um, other people. But uh, when I got to concrete, you know, uh, things changed. That's awesome. Great story. I always like to ask that question. Uh, so just tell us uh, about the early days of Geotech. You obviously, uh, you know, tech startup, uh, you know, uh, tell me about your co-founders, the, the friendship, the partnership, uh, you know, uh, the need you saw in the industry, the vision you had, if you can maybe uh, share that experience with us today. Yeah, for sure. Well, after uh, after my PhD studies, and you know, I was as my past, as I mentioned, to become a professor, and um, uh, but um, but at that time something didn't really settle right. Uh, is uh, I saw that we're doing so much research in academia with deep understanding of concrete um, at the research level, yet we're seeing bridges are collapsing, concrete uh, structures are crumbling. And yeah. uh, it was it was mind uh, boggling that you know we have so much knowledge, but it's not applied in the field. Um, so um, 
my business partner, Dr. Pereira Coates, who was also in the same uh, position after he finished his studies in, uh, in PhD, uh, and I, we decided to start uh, Geotech uh, to bring our knowledge to the industry and making it so simple to use and applicable so that engineers and stakeholders can start using technologies and address the real pains and needs in the, uh, in the market. So that's how we started Geotech um, uh, about 10 years ago. Um, and simply, it was a simple idea of bringing uh, the corrosion detection tool to the market that can assess the state of infrastructure uh, faster and easier and more accurately. And then that idea was evolved to other areas. And as we learn more about the challenges and pains uh, firsthand from the industry, we design other solutions for, for those areas as well. And did you burn the midnight oil in so many cases developing the product? Yeah, so <laughs> that's, uh, that has uh, been a journey you know, for us. And uh, honestly, the, um, uh, that's how we got into a wide range of and, and, uh, products and so many products that we have today. Awesome, awesome. Uh, just curious, how did you come up with the name Geotech, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, so uh, we submitted any name possible, any meaningful name possible for the Industry Canada and all have rejected because someone has uh, already taken them. So we decided to go with the first letters of uh, or initials uh, of our family name. So that's how we put them together with the technology as, at the end. So that's uh, Geotech. That's so cool. Uh, let's just uh, focus on the entrepreneurial journey, if we, if I may. Uh, how you build it up, uh, the early help, uh, any uh, fundraising, the highs and lows, uh, the first customers. Uh, you know, give us a sense of that uh, that journey. Yeah, so uh, everything starts with an idea, but you know, I can assure you, for any idea that you have, there are hundreds of other people out there who have an idea. So. Uh, all, all, all of the success comes from execution and how you turn that idea to a product that uh, makes other people excited. And uh, so the first few years at Geotech, we worked really hard to turn our idea to a prototype, to a product that, that we can demonstrate, that we can market. And then when we started marketing, we, uh, we initially got uh, some interest and uh, you know, those interests uh, turned to sales. And um, then uh, we use those sales to uh, basically build a story and grow our um, portfolio and grow the sales. Uh, but, uh, but we did all this without raising any investment. So all the, all the growth wow. at Geotech was organic, bootstrapping, um, without raising any investment. And that has challenges as well as rewards. But um, that meant that we had to work very hard and uh, also be focused to become very lean. Uh, so we were very uh, optimized in marketing activities or sales activities or sales process or uh, decreasing the cost of manufacturing and things like that to be able to sustain throughout the process. Um, but I can tell you the first sale that we had, you know, that's the best experience we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Finally, someone is there who's going yeah. to pay for what you have built. Yeah, that's uh, so cool. You know, a success comes in uh, in different ways. It's not overnight. It uh, takes a long time. So I can imagine all that you went through. Um, so, you know, and they say construction, the road to success is always under construction. So out of all that, I'm sure you gained so much wisdom, uh, you know, from the experience of building it. Can you share some insights on what you learned about leadership, about uh, building a company, um, you know, and, uh, and, and your individual character? How does that all impact? that that uh, experience yeah so the um, you know in in the industry in particular i think we were in the uh, the right time you know, the industry is going through a digital transformation uh the new generation of engineers and workforce are, are demanding technology and uh so i think we we're in a, in a very good time from that perspective to offer new technologies that uh, are much needed in the industry um building geotech also comes from a, you know a, a wide range of activities uh, and, and i can talk about it from different aspects but i think it, uh, it starts with with a team and um, so my my business partner and i were were great friends and we started the business together but uh, we also ensured that we bring on people who are like-minded who believe in the vision that we have and we're in this together so um, that's how i think we got through all the difficulties that we had to face and uh, uh, supported each other throughout this journey. And that ensured that every other team member that is added to our company has the same vision. So that's one aspect. Uh, the other aspect uh, I would say is, is, um, is about the, uh, the culture. So uh, when we uh, 
uh, bring on new people, we always tell them you are the CEO of your domain. You you should think nice. like a CEO uh, and act like a CEO. You uh, we give them total freedom to be innovative, be creative, bring on new ideas, and uh, and that helps us to become a very very uh, nimble and agile and innovative company. And every day uh, we're innovating and bringing new ideas to the table. Uh, so those are the two, I think, main areas that I can address. But in, but also uh, one thing that we all need to uh, uh, remember is that we don't know everything. So we, from day one, we surrounded ourselves with very uh, smart people, mentors, and coaches uh, through local or organizations. And uh, uh, for example, in, in, in Ottawa, we have Invest Ottawa and right. other organizations uh, to uh, to get help and uh, run our ideas by them. And that helped us a lot to uh, go through decision making at different and difficult uh, situations throughout the uh, the journey. I just think it's so cool how you know you you didn't go and uh, uh, you know uh, raise funds and built in a lean culture, but also how you're you're building your culture you know uh, along those lines as well, right? At Procore, uh, you know, culture is so big, and that's why we are such great partners. You know, we our values are openness, uh, you know, ownership, and being optimistic. And I bring that to every sector of my relationship, even with talking to you, how can I be optimistic with you? How can I take ownership of relationships? So I think culture is so key and it's so cool that you're building that and you're giving you know, folks like the CEO of your domain is, uh, is a really cool concept. So well done there. Uh, any advice you would give to up and coming uh, uh, entrepreneurs? Contech is a big area of development, a lot of funds going in. Any uh, uh, words you can of inspiration or advice you can give to them? Yeah, so, um, yeah, good question. So, <laughs> yeah, the industry, as I mentioned, is going through that digital transformation, and um, I think it's a very interesting time for any technology uh, entrepreneur out there to come in, uh, start a business in this industry. Um, uh, I think uh, the, the market is ripe for, uh, for adoption of, of uh, software tools or technology tools that, uh, that can help with productivity and safety. Um, uh, in, in construction projects and in concrete industry in particular. Uh, but I would say as an, as an advice is that uh, build a strong team, uh, surround yourself with the smart people and uh, don't give up. You know, they, the, the first two or three years are going to be very, very tough. And, um, and it's, it's important just to, um, to be persistent, be resilient and go through the difficult challenges that may uh, come up and just fine tune your value proposition, your product, your offering, listen to the market. At the end of the day, um, it's uh, what market needs that we need to build. And um, and sometimes market doesn't know exactly what they need, but we can look at the pain that they have and listen to them and design a solution that they may not even have in their mind. But they, uh, when we introduce this to them, they uh, they say, wow, this is exciting and I, I need this and I want this. That's a great advice. Folks, there you go. If you're on this journey, uh, those are words of wisdom that have been tested and lived through. So uh, hopefully that'll be uh, inspiration for you. Now I want to move to uh, concrete. You know, uh, what are some of the innovations that you're, you're excited about concrete, uh, you know, in terms of uh, maybe materials? You know, the issue of sustainability keeps on coming up, uh, you know, uh, just because of greenhouse gases, uh, global warming, all that. And just AI, if uh, are you able to, if you could just touch on those topics, that would be Great and get your insights on it. Uh, sure. Yeah. So, it's, uh, concrete is a very interesting material. As I mentioned, and it's like so many chemical reactions that are contributing to the performance of concrete in different um, environments. And uh, so, there's a lot of advancements in the chemistry and chemical admixtures and supplementary cementitious materials. Um, but, uh, but what I but I can probably bring up as uh, recent innovations are probably. Uh, Self-healing concrete is an area that is very interesting. Uh, the, uh, so cool. Yes, yeah, so cool. And body <laughs> concrete, for that matter, that yeah. uh, you 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 get cracking in the concrete and it starts healing itself by uh, initiating new reactions that generate cement-based products in that crack. Three uh, D printing is another area. I think it uh, has a lot of potential uh, for fast construction and construction in remote areas. Uh, I think that's a, that's a great uh, area for. Uh, digitization of construction um, uh, by itself. And um, as, as you touch uh, on uh, carbon uh, dioxide, you know, as we all know, cement industry is responsible for about 5% of GHG emissions uh, worldwide. Um, and wow. uh, over the past 
you know, uh, five years, uh, ten years, uh, there have been uh, some initiatives uh, to capture that carbon dioxide and reuse it in concrete, actually, to not only to improve concrete properties, but also store it in the concrete. And that, uh, that way, uh, we're basically um, eliminating uh, the, the, the GHG emissions uh, into the into the atmosphere by capturing them and storing them in the concrete. So there have been some uh, cool initiatives uh, over the past few years uh, that I, I can uh, mention. On the uh, AI side, um, I think there's abundance of data. There's so right. much data out there, you know, and uh, before Procore uh, started collecting all this data in one dashboard or other companies for that matter, I think uh, we knew that there's billions and billions of data points collected throughout the life cycle of a project. Right. And I think with the AI now uh, becoming easier and easier, um, uh, we can capture the data uh, and um, analyze it uh, like, like never before to generate new insight about the future predictions about uh, anomalies that uh, is almost impossible to detect by humans. Um, when you're looking at billions of data points, uh, you know, an example is probably looking at images during the construction and detecting safety issues uh, that, are, uh, that are now becoming very easy using AI. And things like that, I think um, data analytics uh, with the help of uh, artificial intelligence is going to add another layer to what uh, technology companies are doing in the construction sector today. Yeah, and there's some crazy stats out there. It's like some like ninety five percent of all data in construction goes unused. You know how much how much uh, value are we losing out on, right? So, uh, and yes, you just mentioned Procore, my favorite topic too. <laughs> you know, for Procore, so I just wanted to uh, talk more about uh, uh, you know your partnership with Procore. Uh, uh, you know how the the software is integrate uh, and how they benefit our mutual customers. So if you can maybe uh, give us your thoughts on that. Yeah, sure. So when we when we offered the Smart Rock uh, wireless sensors to project managers, uh, you know, obviously that was a great value to them to know the status of concrete in real time to make informed decisions. Uh, but concrete concrete status, concrete curing, hardening is one piece of the puzzle for them. They're looking at so many other things uh, in their project the scheduling, and um, and and obviously uh, you uh, Procore uh, is capturing that in in a comprehensive platform. So yeah. A lot of information about the workforce, the schedule, subcontractors, plans, and things like that. And, right. and uh, so it was a no-brainer for us to bring the concrete piece of the puzzle in one dashboard through Procore platform in the uh, in the hands of uh, project managers, so that they can look at it in one screen and make an informed decision by evaluating concrete uh, status uh, in parallel to other information. And also, what what we noticed is, is that um, uh, they can also generate uh, alerts and notifications based on uh, the status of concrete right in the proper dashboard and inform uh, uh, their, uh, their personnel that you know, that now is the time to remove form work or it's now the time to uh, pull the cables and right. post the structures. Yeah, you know, th thank you for being such great partners. I think it's, uh, you know, one of the things I like about Procore is just, it becomes a central repository for everyone. Uh, you know, on Open API, we have over 200 uh, marketplace partners like yourself who integrate the system. So it's, uh, you know, being able to bring all that data like we talked about and action it, right? So great yeah. to hear that uh, that integration is working and the relationship is going great. Yeah, so we're you. very excited that more and more companies are using uh, the integration, the API integration uh, that we have uh, created uh, through your your dashboard. And uh, I think uh, this this is the I think the collective uh, value is even more than individual values when when two platforms are combined together. So I think that's uh, that's really smart on your side to uh, to do that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, and you'll be—I I, believe—you'll be at Groundbreak, which is our annual conference, virtually. So, folks, if you have virtually. any, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, they're uh, they're a sponsor there. So please uh, visit them. They'll have a virtual booth, I assume. So, uh, just uh, moving forward, I just wanted to ask you some uh, more personal related questions. What's the one person you look up as a role model? You know, whether it's your entrepreneurial journey or your your on the concrete side, or just from a leadership point of view that uh, uh, we could gain inspiration from. Uh, <laughs> so there's, I don't think there's one person that you know I, I, I can uh, point at. You know there are there's so many great people out there. 
uh, so many great entrepreneurs and leaders and uh, role models um, that I've, um, I've looked up to, whether there are professors th throughout my studies or right. coaches uh, at Geotech that I had the uh, privilege of uh, working with them. Um, and also great uh, minds and entrepreneurs, you know, uh, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, uh, uh, yeah, all of them are great people. And, and you can capture one great aspect from each of these people and say, okay, yeah. this person is great at this, so let me learn how he does that or she does that and, and then go to the next person. And I think the strengths comes from looking at a lot of people and see what are their strengths uh, points and learn from that and uh, apply it to your field. You know, and uh, I was just mentioning this too. I had another interview with Bridget, which is another Canadian startup. And I was saying, we're talking about this topic and, you know, Isaac New Newton, Sir Isaac Newton had his saying, he said, uh, you know, we, we can see further when we stand on the shoulder of giants, right? And these are the giants of our industry, whether they're the people in our company that inspire us or the, you know, the big names out there, they all add value. Uh, any book that you're reading that you could recommend to the audience that would be, uh, that you feel would be totally worth reading? Uh, yeah, so uh, there are several great books, uh, but I, I think one of my favorites is uh, How Google Works by Eric Schmidt. Uh, uh, if you haven't read it, uh, please uh, download it or uh, buy it and, and read it. It's a great book. It's, a, it's providing a, um, a great insight into the um, mindset of Google and okay. how Google attracts um, smart creatives, as they call them and how they give them total freedom to innovate and uh, how the culture inside Google works from management to uh, recruiting, um, uh, from growth and innovation. And I think it's, uh, it's really um, exciting to learn about that and uh, especially when it comes to modern age uh, companies and startups who are looking for, um, for growing uh, in today's world. I think uh, you need to look up to uh, companies that are that are like that, and I think Google is a, is a great uh, role model out there. So um, this is this is in my opinion a great great book to read. I'll definitely take your uh, suggestion and uh, read that book. Thank you so much. Uh, so, folks, uh, that's about all the time we have uh, today. Uh, thank you, everyone in the audience, for joining us today. I hope this session was informative, insightful, and you inspired. A big thank you to you, Ali, and Geotech for being Procore partners for joining us today and for sharing your journey and passion for concrete. I beat a lot of uh, Geotech folks in my uh, travels at events and the, the nicest people to be around, they're full of passion. The culture you talk about is abundant in them and uh, it's always been a pleasure to meet them. So uh, know that we are cheering you on and wishing your team the best of continued success. You're bringing uh, freedom to the concrete world uh, and uh, big changes. So thank you for joining us, uh, yeah. Ali. Thank you Sanjeev for having me. It was a pleasure to be here today. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, so that's a uh, wrap, folks. Check out our entire How We Build Now video series at Procore.com, where I interview our brightest minds, our most innovative leaders on our website, www.procore.com. And uh, have a great day and uh, be safe out there. Sanjeev out. <laughs>